What is up, guys? Kelly Kevin. Today on this particular 8-bit tutorial, we are going to be doing Hercules. <laughs> Hercules. Everyone likes Hercules. Uh, and if you want to see the thumbnail, it's on screen now. Obviously, if you missed it by not clicking on the video and just randomly just sort of stumbled across this, then this is uh, basically what we're going to be doing. So, after all, let's give you a rundown of the colours you're going to be using for this particular build. You're using black wool, brown wool, uh, a white stained clay. Also going to be using a lime green wool. You can change this to dark green. It's up to you. A yellow wool. Again, you can change this to gold. It's up to you. A little bit of an orange wool. And I totally forgot, but we're going to be using a standard wool. Or in my eyes, as we like to call it on this channel, just throwing it on the floor. Uh, we like to call it white wool. Because I'm very special in so many ways. So, let's start building this off the ground. Never build anything on the ground because it just looks it just looks terrible. If you're building stuff on the floor, you can stop it right now, okay? You can stop it right now. Don't build any pixel art on the floor. If you're building pixel art in Pacific, make sure you build it up in the sky so everyone can see it. So, you want to start in line of 10. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then what we're going to do once we've got 10, that's going to be our left foot. Let's make our right foot. So, let's bridge it between three other blocks. It doesn't really matter. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, like so. So, you basically want two lines of 10 like that. So once you've got two lines of ten, what we're going to do is add an extra three in the middle here. So we go one, two, three. Same thing on the other side as well. One, two, three. And then we're going to place two on the edges as well. Now this is not sort of a standard build which we usually would do. This is quite a big and a bulky build. Hence why it is called Hercules, guys. Look how, imagine how big that guy is. He is huge, alright? Don't worry about it. We're going to be doing that. So after the edges here, we're going to come to visible stair set in two. A line of two. Same thing on this side as well. Very symmetrical throughout this build. Until we get off to the break off point of the arms a little bit of detailing of the chest and obviously his beard and everything else but we'll get to that as we go along so you want to do the, exactly the same thing again as well you want to come up to again you want l's now but obviously the right l is going to be facing out to the right and this uh, left l is going to be facing out to the left so again obviously we're going to build the exact same pattern as we did here and obviously you want to breach another one along there to face the left so as you can tell the right one's facing the right and the left one is facing the left after you've done that, you want to come invisible stair set three up from these blocks into the build now. So again, one, two, three, and the same thing this side as well. You want to come all the way over. And you want to come one, two, three, like so. After you've done that, all we need to do now is come from left to right. We're going to start with our lime green. We're going to come along three, one, two, three. We're going to put an orange, and then we're going to put one, two, three, all the way along to connect those top blocks of black light. So now we're only doing that purely because this is a little preference point there. Nothing to, there's nothing major on there. There's no sort of big issue or anything or anything like that. It's just to make sure that we got everything precise. So we're going to come back to the two little stick bits here. We're actually going to connect those. We're going to do invisible stairs so either side of those just to come up. And then obviously a third one there to connect to make a line like that. Now, the footing is very detailed on this. Also the sort of garment of the bit up here is a little bit more detailed. So we'll do that as right now because it's a little bit easier. It's coming from left to right again. We'll come to the second block. and we'll come down actually two. One, two. And a third one there just sit along next to that black line. And from the third one you just want to come all the way out to the left and all the way to the right to you meet the thighs of the build. So come all the way out to the edges of the build like so. The whole entire section in there you can either fill in with your gold or your yellow, depends what you're using. So we'll just fill that in right now. So just fill all of that in. Da -da -da, nice and easy. There we go. It's a bit blocky at the moment obviously because we, most of the detail is running through his chest sort of bit there out there. But we'll do that in a minute. So let's crack on with doing the feet. So underneath the yellow you just want to put a line of brown all the way along. Just carry it all the way through. So obviously level with that three black that we just originally placed like so. Then what we're going to be doing is the bottom half of the feet. Now these are very symmetrical throughout this. So if you've done one wrong and you've done one correct, make sure to mimic the correct one straight back over. But I'll show you how it's done. So you want to line all the way along the bottom again, exactly the same as we did on top of the exactly the mimic of the bottom and the black line. What we're going to do is just put a block on each of the inner bits here. Two up and then all the way along again. Like so. Well, easiest way to describe this is probably doing line by line it's probably going to be easier so again once you've done that on top of that one you're going to go from right to left we're going to put two to make a full block there of brown we're going to put a white stained clay and we're going to put a brown but the brown is going to come up to and one over the white stained clay so pretty much just like that and the rest of that whole entire bit there you can fill in white stained clay so let's do exactly the same thing on the other side here come two up the top here coming into the build now to make a full block of brown a white stained clay and then brown next to it along up it 
and then just along the side of it like so just to connect around like so and then the rest of that you can just fill in with your white stained clay so if you want to be precise it's three on the bottom and four on the top you don't need to worry about that too much because if you've done that small little pattern incision with the white block covering the brown pretty much the rest of that whole entire bit there you can fill in with your white stained clay so that's pretty much the feet there looking pretty much swanky all done so what we're going to be doing now is building his arms pretty easy on this one we're going to follow up on this block here and we're going to add an extra five in yeah five so it's six in total so you can add to this one as well so we can go two three four five six like so and we're going to do exactly the same thing on the other side but this one's going to be five in total instead of six so two three four five like so one's going to be higher than the other one the left one's going to be higher than the right one easy mode okay cool let's do the left let's do the left arm first because why not so what we're going to be doing is something uh, sort of a, a temporary block like so. A temporary block is obviously something that's going to be temporary. We're going to move shortly after we've placed it. So for instance, we're going to put a temporary block right next to the bottom of this column like so on the left. Like this. After you've done that, we're going to switch back to your black. You want to come on top of that. You want to come an extra four back on top of that. One, two, three, four. Like so. And back down one and one to the left like that. And after you've done that, you can switch back to your yellow here, and you can come one, two, three out along from there. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go back down to this temporary block once again. We're going to add a black to the left of it, and then underneath that black is another temporary block, and again next to that temporary block coming towards the left is another black like so. So you basically want to come in this process it down to the build, down to the foot now, as you can tell here. We've got that four block there. We've got a one down, one white, and one down again. You don't need those whites if you're feeling pretty confident. You can just do them like that. But I've just put those there to just make it a little bit more easier. So the bottom one here, we're going to extend to make a three. Again, we're going to put another temporary block on the side of it. And we're going to come up an extra five on top of this one. So one, two, three, four, five. So it just goes past that three yellow that we just placed originally to connect outside that L like that. Pretty damn cool. So obviously, this whole entire shape here, this giant lump, which is going to be his hand, obviously we're going to need to fill it in with our skin color here. So it's our fast, it's our white stained clay, which pretty much we use in any other, any other build for skin like that. And then we're just going to carry on this pillar here. Now we're actually going to come back into the build invisible stair. So you want to probably come about four in total. So three, three, there we go. Four, like so. The fourth one here, just come and make it a three line of three. So add an extra two, like so. So as you can tell here, we've got a breach or a gap here of, as you can tell, because you see that with white stained clay. And the rest of the hand that pattern there, again, you can just fill it in with the skin. Obviously, guys, remember the pattern that we are doing is Hercules. You're not wearing a lot of sort of, you know, crazy stuff here the majority of this build is actually kind of skin so don't worry too much if you feel like you've gone overboard or come out of this pattern being in particular and you can always recover it like so so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to actually make his jawline so from the three here we're going to come down a visible stair set three one two three third one here we're just going to add some brown on the edge of it so the brown which we usually would do for the five but the black is actually just going to be brown so to make his beard we're going to come along an extra five from here so one two three four or five it should sit snug as a bug on top of that other column like so which we're going to work on in a minute we're going to come up to one two from that entire bit and then we're going to come back to the left here we're going to come all the way over till we basically reach the line of the brown which we were first tired so originally as you can tell like so we just sit there and just connect like so so as you can tell there's kind of a mouth going on there not too much but there is a mouth and that's obviously that three block in there you can fill in with your white stained clay we're actually going to follow the brown up here on these particular squares or segments at the top of here. Just want to go three along there just to make a sort of a notification that you have done the beard there. That's pretty much the beard done. So we're actually going to work on this other column over here on the right hand side. We're going to place another temporary block on the edge here, which we did like on that side as well. We're actually going to come all the way up with a black till it meets the other column as well. A bit strange, a bit different towards the other one. Excuse me, but that's okay. So we're going to come back down one and again we're going to come out one. Yeah, and the same pattern here, we're going to come one, two, three, yellow again come black away from the temporary block under the black again another temporary block black out again so again you've got another line and that one you want to come out three temporary block you want to come up an extra all the way past your actual yellow block like so so there we go again exactly the same thing on the other side there you don't have to have those temporary blocks and as well you need to come past those three yellow there like so and again the same thing on the other side you can fill that massive sort of section in which is going to be his hand with your white stained clay or whatever skin color you're particularly using for your build like so and then we're going to come four up invisible stair set from this intel so one two three four so it should just come along the beard line like so pretty pretty snug pretty snug i should just come three along 
I need four, just three. Make sure it's in line with the beard, people. Make sure it's in line with the beard. So what we're going to do is get a green next to that and a black, just connect it to the beard. And we're going to put a, underneath the black, just place, we're going to put a green as well. So the rest of the whole that type of shape or pattern in there, you can actually just fill it in with your white stain clay. Remember, don't don't worry about it going too overboard. You can always cut and snip the little bits in as you go. So yeah, we're left with some massive chest bit here. So obviously we're going to add a little bit more detail. What we're going to be doing here is we're actually going to be going a really simple, easy pattern. So from all the way from the left green, we're actually going to come up one. And then we're just going to go invisible stair set up all the way to the furthest it can go. So as you can tell, that's pretty much it for us there. Again, we're going to work from the orange here. We're going to come all the way up invisible stair set as far as we can go. Like so. All of that middle section you can fill in with a corresponding gold or yellow that you have. Obviously, to carry on the theme of this. And the rest of it, you guessed it, is going to be a skin texture as well. I told you guys, there's, you know, there's not a lot of material on Hercules, which, uh, you know, that's kind of how he rolls, but, uh, you know, that's, that's sort of my particular pattern. You can change that to whatever you like. Maybe you can change the buckle there, you can change the colours, you know. Depends how you want to make it flow, it's entirely up to you. So, after that, what we're going to be doing is making the actual head. Now, for me, I like to make it um, as a skeleton in whole, but I don't think I'm going to be doing that today. I'm probably just going to take it really smooth. And I'm just going to build it as it is because he's got quite of a blocky head. So let's just carry on. So the right hand side of the beard here, as you can tell, we're going to come up one white wall. And then we're going to come two black on top of that. One, two, coming up. And then we're going to put two white on the side of that on the right hand side like that. And then we're going to place a brown on top of the white. So as you can tell, there's an eye there with a small smidge of eyebrow, which is pretty damn cool. Again, the same side as there, we're going to come all the way over to the left hand side here. Obviously, we come in one, put two white of that we're going to put a uh, four block of black to make the eye again we're going to put some white on the left hand side obviously not the right because we don't want the eyes merging together because it'll look pretty weird and obviously the top so left hand side of that eye we're going to place some brown like so to give him some more eyebrows that's pretty much it so what we can do on top of that now is we can just we what we can do is we can grab our black and from that green block that's just sort of mysteriously standing there we can just go as high as you want i want to won't worry too much about this because uh, it will all come into place in a minute. So let's go really high. This head's obviously not going to be that big. But let's just go really high. That would be a stupidly long head, wouldn't it? That would be crazy. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're actually going to switch to our white stained clay. And what we're going to do is just run along white stained clay all the way along the top of the eyebrows. And we're going to come an extra two out from the actual eye. So one, two, as you can tell there. And we're going to come all the way back down. This should hit the second brown, which it has. As you can tell, one, two, three. Second brown in the middle there, like so. And the whole entire section within the eyes and that line that we just made, you could just fill in with your skin colour like so. Now be careful when you fill in the same one guys, because obviously you're going to miss a few couple of blocks if you're not careful. So just come out and have a look, so as you can tell on this one there, come in and fill that one in, Oop, like so. And obviously going to make his headband here, so we're going to come up from this section and we're just going to make a line like so on top of the white stain clay. Exactly the same pattern all the way along. Apart from we're going to come out an extra two orange like so. And then we're just going to follow that two orange all the way down until it, until it connects and clicks onto the next block like so, which it has. Again, the middle block here with black, you can obviously tell there's a steaming great good line here. So we can just follow that all the way up. And what you want to do is just follow it two past the orange like so. So this one is where you did the exact same thing. Make sure it's level with this one. Two line above the orange. One, two. So the rest of that you can actually just take out. So we weren't that far off. And then what we can do on the right side is we come out of visible stair set one. Is that too high? Come back into the build with another visible stair set. One more on top, which is going to be the top layer of his head. Same thing on this one as well. We're going to come in one. Like so. Look here. Actually, no, this can to come too more high. No, no, no. Take that out. How dare you? That. Oh, no. Been a little bit wrong there. It's from orange headband. We need to come out one. To make two, there we go, and then a visible stair set two, like so. There we go. So, you want something like that away out from the headband, obviously, from that line there, coming out two, one, one, up the visible stair set left of the build here, and then obviously, this side is exactly the same as well as I said before, two above the orange, and then two coming up into the build. And obviously, this should now, yes, it does, good, connect like so. So, the rest of that top half there, you can just fill in with this hair. You mess around with this guys is entirely up to you you know you can use so many different colors and everything else i do apologize but i kind of like to keep it raw you know if i mess up i mess up and uh, i'll like show you guys that i have kind of messed up that sounds pretty weird but oh well but guys if you did enjoy hit me up with a like and a comment that has been hercules and until the next one guys kelly kevin and kelly kevin out